welcome to another blog vlog anyways um today well right now hopefully i can get this posted today the fifth because it's this one is a very special blog vlog you know video that i'm doing um <clears throat> this one is for my mom today is her death anniversary death anniversary she passed away 21 years ago. I was eight years old, 29 days before I turned nine. And um, yeah, she's always on my mind, you know? But um, before I go a little bit more about that, um, why don't y'all uh, subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the other channel, my other, my regular channel, it's right there, or I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it. and. Um, smash that like button please share um, anyways um, I was adopted I was taken away from my family at um, five years old uh, however I recently found out that the the biggest reason why I was taken away and not my younger brother was because of my older sister I'm not exactly sure why or how but it kind of makes a little sense when you know you don't when the authorities don't take all the kids but, um, yeah, so it makes it a lot harder to have that relationship get mend when she lies about everything, thinks she's better than everyone, and that she doesn't do anything wrong. Very, very strained relationship, but it's not about her. It's about my mom. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I have vague, very vague memories of her. I remember going and seeing her, having visitations with her at McDonald's, um, playing with my doll. You know, I didn't really spend much time with her. I was always at the playground, you know. I wish, you know, I wish I knew then that I wasn't going to have very much time to spend with her. I probably would have spent more time with her than I did, you know. When she did die, I hadn't seen her, you know, since I had moved to Virginia with my father, the man on my birth certificate. It was probably about three years or so, two, three years. And um, I remember that day like it was yesterday on, you know, getting the news that my mom passed. Um, my dad, Greg, took me outside on the porch, and he was very, very upset, and he held me, in cl uh, you know, held me close, hugged me tight, said that my mom died. And I felt so numb. I, I mean, it took, you know, I didn't know her very well, and, um, you know, I'd already been through a lot, and would still go through a lot, and um, it took me a few years or, or more, lots of years or so, to, to finally accept it, and to finally grieve, and still, I still do grieve a little bit, you know, when you lose a parent young, you're going to still grieve, especially when you hit those milestones in your life, like, you know, moving out, getting married, or having a baby, or something, you know, like, like, it hurts to know that she'll never get to see my child and that my child will never get to meet her. <coughs> but she was a very sweet person from what I remember, you know. She wasn't maybe the best mom, but, you know, she was my mom. And I really, and I do look a lot, lot like her, you know. I don't have very many pictures of her, but let's see. I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to put her picture right here in post-editing, and you'll see exactly how much we look alike, you know? She was very sweet. She had me, I think, at 30, 31, and so she was very young when she died. You know, she died from a, um, a brain hemorrhage or blood clot that went to her brain about a week after having my baby sister. So, you know, and I didn't, I hadn't met, the first time I met my baby sister was just like a year ago. I found her on, on Facebook a couple years ago and reconnected with my baby brother. And I met her for the first time last year and we look exactly the same except she's younger and has different color hair and her skin looks better than mine. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's crazy. Same height, everything. And we don't, supposedly we have... You know, we're only half-siblings, but me and my half-siblings look way more alike than the ones that are supposedly my full siblings. But, um, yeah, she's blamed herself, you know, blamed herself for killing our mom. You know, I mean, she didn't, she had no control over that, you know? 
but I mean, I can fuck some, oops, sorry, that can mess someone's life up, you know, blaming yourself on something that you really had no control over. But, um, yeah, I miss her so much. Like, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about her. And then, you know, I still talk to her like she was here, you know. I talk to ghosts. I talk to her, and I talk to my sister, another one of her children, Crystal. Crystal died when I was about 13. She was crossing a train track that didn't have any signs or signals or anything. And she got hit by that train, and uh, she wasn't wearing her seatbelt, so she got ejected and hit a light pole. Yeah, you know, very messy. Yeah, and for some reason, her children, you know, um, like I finally found the oldest one, Haley, Moody, sorry. I found her, you know, not long ago on Facebook and Instagram, and um, she doesn't want anything to do with me, which I don't understand. You know, once her adopted parents, which was her teacher at the time, got a uh, custody of her, she's like, yeah, y'all, or both of them, her and her sister, you know, she was like, y'all can come see us and everything. And then as soon as it was finalized, we were cut out of her life, their lives. And it, it makes me wonder exactly how many bridges were burnt, you know, because of my sister Valerie. It seems like everyone in our family you know, they don't want to have anything to do with me because of her. And then I have to, like, show them, prove to them that I'm nothing like her. And then me and her don't even talk. I've been able to rebuild some of those relationships. But it's like, what did I do to my niece, Crystal's kids, to have to make them not want anything to do with us? You know, like, I've been trying to find them forever, you know, I'm, I was a child when all that happened, and she was itty bitty, so it's like, you know, like, instead of just saying, you know, leave me the F alone, you know, like, maybe she'll see this and respond and tell me, you know, the reasons why she doesn't want to talk to me, is it too painful, you know, I mean, I understand, I only knew my sister for a little while, and I started to, you know, a week, week and a half before she died, we, um, we met again, you know, I hadn't seen her since I was a child, and, uh, you know, we were starting to rebuild our relationship, same with our other sister, Val, when she died, you know, <coughs> I just have a messed up, crazy uh, childhood family, you know, the Beasley, Wilson, whatever, you know, like my mom's name, her full name is Teresa Diana Wilson Beasley Smith Peters, yeah, so... But, um, this is about her, you know, 21 years, it still feels pretty fresh, you know, I hope one day, it would be awesome one day soon, if, like, I could get a, a real reading from a real medium, like Tyler Henry, or whatever his name is, the Beverly Hills Hollywood medium, I wish I'd love to get a reading with him, you know, maybe my mom is trying to contact me or my sister or other people that um, have passed away that I'd love to speak to again. You know, it would be really nice. I would love to know what she has to say and what she thinks about <coughs> what she thinks about my life and stuff. You know, but um, I know this is not exactly you know what my content's usually about. I hope to be a little bit more broad in my content posting and stuff, but um, sorry it's sad a little bit. I don't want this to be sad, but you know, I miss her, but instead of just you know not the anniversary just of her death, it's like an anniversary of her life, you know and and um, she was just taken too soon, you know. And I miss her, I miss her so much. And I, I hope and pray that, you know, I, I get that that reading with the medium or whatever. And I just can't wait to see her again in heaven or wherever. So, um, but, um, yeah, y'all, um, leave me a post, a comment or whatever on what y'all think, um, what would y'all like for me to do, see anything that has to involve with trick, you know, hair pulling, whatever, um, size the limit, <laughs> but, um, 
yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe button please so y'all will get notified for my next videos and so and such and also for my other channel because my other channel the elizabeth one is going to be more content of like exploring banned in places i know i posted some on this channel a two-parter but um the rest of the abandoned building stuff is all going to be posted on elizabeth beasley toy so uh, this one will be more about mental health and and stuff like that so um and diys and stuff perhaps but um yeah subscribe to my channel oh and check out my website i've been building it putting more stuff in it like a a, a form so um people can you know do chats with people all around the world. I get so many people from all over the world visiting my website. Ireland, you know, you name it, just about, they've been on it. Because Wix will tell you where they are from, kind of. So, um, yeah, y'all, you never know who you'll talk to when you're on my website. And I hope to get um, the free membership login, sign-in thing done really, really soon. It's a lot harder than you think to make a website. And the donate, the URL, and everything has changed. It was Obsessed OCD Life or OCD Obsessed Life. Scratch that. It is now www.trickylife.com. T R I C H Y L I F E. It's a play on trick. Catalomania. <laughs> I love it. But, um, yeah, it's, um, I couldn't change all of my social media user names and stuff, but at least the ones I was able to change was my YouTube account, my website, um, Twitter. So Twitter is Tricky Life, I think. Instagram is the same, is um, Tricky Life 89. Facebook is Tricky Life. One of them is Tricky Life, and then either my page or my or um, my account is tricky life 89 snapchat's the same it's obsessed ocd life and um for my um business side of social media i go by Liz toy instead of my um legal name because i try to keep those separate so i don't get confused when i'm editing and posting stuff but yeah anyways um please like this video share it um yeah so um subscribe do what you do but um yeah i'll see y'all soon bye good night my tricksters till next time Mwah.